Day two, uh, we're on our way to body power now. Uh, we're just gonna go catch the bus. Beautiful day. Check that out. So naturally, we're in shorts. I think today we're gonna go straight to the Gymshark booth and meet Nikki, Steve, Bradley Martin, uh, Lex, Laney, everyone like that. Huh? Oh, twin. Yeah, Lex Griffin, Matt's twin. Looks a little bit like him, quite a lot like him. Yeah, it should be a good day. I mean, we need to meet up with a bunch of people. I seen Misha at the gym yesterday, said Sam's coming down today. Yeah, I'm just really excited. Didn't sleep too much, I was really buzzing. I think it was the pre-workout I had that uh, Deanne gave me yesterday before the gym. Yeah, which took like three hours after. Which affected me about three hours after. I think Matt's gonna go to the shop, see if we can get a pen. We need to get everybody to sign our stuff. Yeah, so we're just gonna catch a bus and we'll see you there. Uh, we're at the NEC now, on our way. We're yeah, going straight to the Gymshark booth. Meet everyone there, and then we're meeting Brandon Hardin. Cannot wait to meet him, cannot wait. Kept messaging saying he's uh, excited to see me too, so it can be unreal. <sighs> going down loads of steps.
people together, everybody has the same mindset, and it's just it's crazy, absolutely crazy. I love it. All right, Matthew. Oh, <laughs> Day two is done. We queued for a long time, at least like two and a half hours, two hours from those places. But we managed to meet Lex, Lainey, Nikki, Jasmine, Steve Cook, sort of. We queued up for him and then he had to leave. We managed to get a selfie with him. Only had a selfie with Bradley Martin. We got offered to go to the gym again tonight, but we turned it down. And instead, <laughs> and instead, and instead, we actually got because um, all we've been eating all day is like protein and BCAAs. That's all we've had is like so many BCAA drinks and so much protein. And I'm on a competition diet. So. And Matt's on a competition diet and I'm currently cutting, but um, <laughs> we ended up getting a 16 inch meat feast pizza. And But we didn't eat it all, as you can see, but we needed just something substantial. But what was funny though was the B&B we're staying in, Woodlands B&B, big shout out to Wendy by the way. She's been absolutely incredible this whole time. She's even taking us tomorrow morning because there isn't any buses in the morning. I'll link like the B&B uh, in the description below. She has been fantastic. But as we were coming in, we were greeted by like this, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. This like awesome looking lady. And she, she looked, you know, big and stocky and she looked like she did bodybuilding. She had like short shorts on, she was covered in tattoos and she had a hood up and short hair. She looked really cool. She's staying here tonight and her name was Natalia, right? Her name was Natalia. She offered us to go to the gym, but like I said, we turned it down. Um, and then she said about hanging out when she gets back. So that's going to be interesting to see her story. Somebody said today, it's been the best worst day of their life because they've queued for so long. The Alpha Elite queue was got up to six hours and we just stroll along at the end of the day and we go and meet Chelsea and Javon again and just hang out with them for a little bit and it's been brilliant. I'm just gonna chill out now. I might join Matt and play some games because I'm a bit of a nerd. He looks really comfortable. <laughs> Gains, brother, Gains. <laughs> Or pizza games. Speech later. Bye. Day three of Body Power. Uh, we're a little bit later than usual. Every day we've got it for eight o'clock, but it's a quarter to nine now and they let us in at nine. There's a ton of people come off the train. We met uh, Natalia last night, spoke for about two, three hours, um, got on like a house on fire. Was She's incredible. She's actually getting money over there. She's a beast. Um, really down to earth, really funny, uh, gone really well. So I'm, a, I'm actually gonna link her Instagram in the description below. She's really like motivated me last night to post a picture of my progression on my Instagram. So she's just really down to earth, she's funny. I think we're going straight to bodybuilding.com first of all. Say bye. Say bye. 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 <laughs>
fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's finished now. We've got about like 45 minutes and we've got to go. Um, we are just saying bye to Natalia. Hi. She's uh, been fantastic. Absolute legend. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm heading to the toilet now before I leave. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye bye. 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 <laughs> she, she, uh, she was hilarious and uh, she kept always going on about the toilet. But it was really nice to meet somebody like that and just to get on with them so well, they were so open. She just didn't care. She didn't care about anything at all. And it is, it's a good trait to have and more people should be like it. He's been my, he's my videographer this weekend. <laughs> Look how happy he is. So Brandon, Brandon done a canvas. He drew it for uh, Kai Green, and he managed to meet him personally and give it to him. And he's going to feature it on his Instagram and his blog. And like, look at his face. He's like he's so happy. We watched his photo routine, and then he went backstage. And I went to management, I was like, is there any way I can give this camera to him? And then we was like, yeah, yeah, we were like, shit, look, look at this. Like, um, they run me backstage, and Clyde, when he saw it, he was like, bro, I was like, what, what is this? Like, how did he do this for me, or sort of thing? And then it went from there, and it was crazy. I can't see myself, because usually, my camera has a flip screen, so I don't know how bad I look right now, but, if you're not already, you should subscribe to this guy. He deserves it, he's a good guy, he's a genuine guy. And any information that you can get from his channel will be legit. This is good. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. First time I met Brandon uh, yesterday. I sat with him for a long time. A lot of people are not the same on their YouTube as what they are in real life. And this guy genuinely is. He is what the industry should be about. So I feel privileged to be a friend of his. Um, and I'm hoping we get to meet up more and maybe one day we'll train together. He's a beast. Look at him, he's a beast. But we there. I just wanted to clear a few things up from the body power vlog. I'm in Javon's vlog and I say to him that my life is going downhill. Now, what I mean about that is my life so much isn't going downhill. What I mean is I have a house, I have a beautiful fiance who does everything for me. In that aspect, my life is brilliant. You know, I have a stable job and everything like that. But what I meant was my life was going downhill as in me. Like I felt I had no motivation, no inspiration. I just felt like I was a weight to have everybody stick by me and to watch all the Alpha League videos and to watch everybody else in the fitness industry. That's what I mean by that it's pushed me up. Um, so I just wanted to clear that up in case people think, well, I don't really have a bad life. For me, I just felt like I was going downhill. So they have changed my life because I feel motivated. I feel positive. I feel like I'm a completely different person to what I was last year. My attitude, my outlook on life, everything is just different. So that's why I say thanks to them, because there's nothing else I can say.